Wilson wants to throw it. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Wilson. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill. Complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 64 yards. And the Dolphins need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot, It's Wilson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Jackson. And the Bears are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all. Hill. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The 40, 20, touchdown Dolphins. Jalen Waddle, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man, one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient. thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now Wilson on first down. And going deep for Hill. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. This is too easy right here. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. 
Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. First and ten, it's Wilson. He's got a man complete. Take off your helmet and give me Touchdown. Tyreek Hill. His 104th career touchdown. One shy of Tim Brown on the all-time list. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. On first down, Wilson. They're going deep for Hill. It got his man complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. And glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and ten. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. On third down, Wilson. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. In motion, Hill. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And that touchdown reception is the fifth for him in this game, and that ties the NFL record. And a record that's held up since 19... Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Chicago. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and 10. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're obviously right now in the driver's seat, comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical for us to see teams out of reach in the third quarter. Right now, they're unstoppable in this one. And seeing how they just came out onto the field. gonna throw a leap and he's got it he got it and he's gonna get this one down to the edge of the red zone that one good for 37 yards even with the big lead here in the fourth it still bombs away and frankly it's working why should they stop go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards 
From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. In motion, Hill. There's Wilson to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one. Huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Dolphins, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile,